Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the farm. Today, you can you can about guess what we're doing. We're ba we're bailing hay. Finally, right? We're finally bailing hay. Well, not quite. It rained last night, and it's about to rain again. And so, as you can see, yep, the hay ain't doing too hot. It's pretty much gone. Up there on the south side, it's really not that bad. On the top side of the hill, it's actually, it looks like this up there. But yeah, it's pretty much gone. So we're probably also going to pick up a rake. I might, Austin, I'm, I'm going to give him a call. See if he can like bring a, bring some equipment, maybe bring a rake or something. And I'll pay him to help me out here. So let's give him a call before we get to bailing. Because, uh, yeah, this, it, it the, the windrows are, are way too small to to bail right now we need to get him raked up and stuff so we're gonna give austin a call real quick and see what he's up to hello hey austin it's uh jake what you up to uh nothing much just uh chilling on my roof here oh you fixing some shingles after the storm last night no no just chilling oh all right uh, i was wondering if you're busy today nope not particularly do you think you could come down and uh, and help me out with this hay that we mowed like days ago? It's it's been rained on now, so it's it's not very good. But um, I need I need to get it bailed before it disappears anymore. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, that sounds like it needs to be done. Yeah, definitely. So uh, if you if you want to, I'd I'd love to have your help with that. Yeah, um, I'll uh, I'll load my tractor up and bring it on down there. Awesome. I might, you might end up here, um, and I'll be gone because I'm going to go up to a neighbor's and, uh, and, uh, pick up a, uh, a rake to rake this stuff together because it's pretty thin, but, okay. uh, I'll be back shortly. So if I'm gone, you know, you can just wait for me and I'll be right back. Alrighty. All right. Well, I'll see you in a bit. All right. Well, Austin sounds like he's going to be able to come down and give us a hand. We're going to run up and uh, get the rake picked up now. So we'll uh, get that thing picked up and head back down into the farm as quick as we can. Oh, would you look at that? We got soybeans growing. Hold up, hold up. We have to check this out. I did not even notice. Yes! Soybeans! What's up, bud? How you doing? You growing real good? Oh, I'm stepping on you. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, that's actually, that's that's really, really nice to see that the crop isn't dead or something. Sweet. We're going to have to get this fertilized then. So we're going to be working on that sometime here soon as well. I wonder how the other field is looking. Oh, we'll have to check that out too. All right, well, let's let's continue our, our trip up to, uh, to pick up that rake. All right, we just got the rake picked up from the neighbors there. We're headed back down to our farm. We'll be there momentarily. Uh, and uh, it... It uh, looks like it's going to be a nice rake. I think this is going to be uh, definitely big enough for what we need. All right, we're pulling in the back side here. We're going to see if... Is that Austin's truck? That's not... Oh, that's Buck's truck, isn't it? Interesting. Buck is down here. What's... Oh, looks like... Looks like Buck is repoing the old International. I mean, we've only had it for months. <laughs> <laughs> and we were only supposed to have it for a few days. Huh. Well, I'll I have to stop and talk to Buck here real quick then. Where's Austin? Oh, looks like Austin's way down there. All right. Let's stop and talk to Buck real quick. Ah, uh, you hate to see an old friend go, don't you? Oh, I, I feel like it's overstated. It's welcome, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I, uh... You know... I don't know who the heck was in charge or who the heck signed the papers. That some bonehead lost track of time. But I really hope that this thing uh, helped out on your farm. I'm assuming it did with the amount of hours I read on there. <laughs> it it absolutely did. Yeah, it was a huge help. What's um, yeah. if you have an opportunity to figure up whatever my outstanding bill is at your dealer, just just send me the bill anytime and I'll get that paid. Uh, I'll uh I'll get a couple numbers up here. My, it's my day off, but I still have to go and get this back and wherever it is. Oh, okay. I'll, I might be able to run some numbers here and I'll let you know on what, what that'll be. Okay. But, um, uh, I'm assuming you are also trying to beat the rain that's coming in? Yeah, well, you know how it is. You mow yeah, hay you and it will yeah. rain. Yeah. Yep. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get, I still gotta get back and mow my own lawn. 
Oh yeah. I mean, it's my first final. It's my first day off that I'm actually being able to get stuff done. So. Yeah, it's a busy day. life we live. Yeah, it is. But I better let you get back to what you're doing because we're both on the clock right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All I right. Uh, we'll get her. We'll get this. Uh, get her all tuned up, ready to go again. If you ever need it to be used again, we'll let you. Let you know what she's up for grabs. Well, I'll tell you what. I I very well might just come back and give and buy that thing. I, I might. I'll have to think on it. All right. Because yeah. uh, I've got some expansion plans, and one of them would include getting some more equipment. So I right. might uh, might have to pick that thing up. All right. I'll uh, keep you on the ring and on the horn for that one, but if I were you, I'd be getting your eyes watching on that 4640. We got a buyer yeah. interested. Oh, do you? Hmm. Yeah. So if you're gonna if you're gonna want to look into buying that thing, it best be now. All right. I'll uh, I'll keep it in mind, but I better get out there and and get to work before this rain yeah. comes in. It we got we got probably less than an hour before it sets in, so got to get oh, going. Yeah. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be like in two hours. What the heck? Okay, I gotta go now. I'll at least <laughs> See ya. All right, Buck's headed out, so we're gonna get over into the field and uh, we're gonna get to raking. And then when we get over there to where Austin is parked up, we will uh, we'll ask him to just come down here and well, actually, we'll have him run the rake and we'll run the baler. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, that's the way to do it, Jake. All right, let's just get turned. You know what? No, we're not going to start there. We're going to start right down here. And we will uh, we'll rake over to where he is, and then we'll ask him to continue the rake with his tractor, and then we will bail. And we will stop and chat with Austin here. Yo, Jake. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. So I'm thinking to beat this rain, I think it might be a good idea to have you run the windrower or the rake on uh, your tractor here and then i follow right behind with the baler all right yeah that'll actually work pretty well awesome so let me get disconnected here so you can get hooked up and then i'll run back get the baler running and uh we'll try to get these moved and i don't know where i'm gonna put them but i'll, I'll figure something out yep that'll work all right disconnect and we will let him run the rake and we'll run back down and get the baler so we can get to rolling here all right let's get connected up to the baler we got a lot of equipment sitting outside and all over the place we need to get that all organized but that'll happen here eventually and we're just going to how oh, you know what we're going to cut through here again i know it's not a path but it's it might as well be the amount of times i drive through there and let's get to bailing hopefully he will rake faster than we bail. Now, he doesn't have to stop as he rakes, and we will have to stop while bailing. So, in theory, he should be able to stay out ahead of us. But, um, let's find the line, which I guess I couldn't technically start it at right back there. But we're going to start it right here. Let's drop that down, turn on the baler, and let's get this hay bailed. Oh my gosh, is this the smallest yield? This is going to take so long. This is really going to hurt. So, I've been wanting to get cattle. I've been wanting to get a cattle operation here for a while. And I wanted to get three cuttings off of this. Three good cuttings off of this. So we could uh, have some hay to be able to feed them. And we'd be well set in that department. And then we could just do whatever to get, you know, the other requirements. Like silage for TMR and, and straw and stuff. But it looks like we're going to have a horrible, horrible hay season and uh, we're gonna have to buy a lot of stuff to run that operation. So I might actually see if Austin wants to go into business with me and start up a joint cattle company. Um, so like our farms could be the holding companies for the one company and then we could run it as a joint operation kind of thing. We'll have to see what he has to say about that, but I'm hoping he'll agree because that would really help me out and I think he would enjoy doing it as well. So we'll talk to him about that here after we get this stuff bailed up and before we go to move the hay. Because I think he uh, I think he would probably be down to do something like that. Maybe we can get one more cutting off this hay. I'm not really sure on that. Uh, we are getting pretty late. It's coming up on fall now. So we might get one more cutting, but that's pushing it. 
it's been a bad year. <laughs> it just has. It's been a very busy year. It's it's been something else. And Hay has has taken the the back burner. That's for darn sure. And it's 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 gonna hurt us in the long run, especially if we start up this company. But I really want to get some cattle going, so we're probably gonna give it a try. Hello. Hey Jake, it's me and me back up here at Black Valley. Hey, what's uh, up? I ran some numbers on the uh, on the Bell Free Tractor. Okay. And, uh, I got good news or bad news depending on how you take it. Okay. The price that you would be paying for the rent of that vehicle is almost equivalent to the price of you just buying the vehicle. <laughs> So, we got a little bit of, uh, kind of a thing here. The price of the vehicle originally when we had it on the lot was fifteen nine. dollars Okay. Of the Your bill was going to come out to about twelve grand. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you did rent it for over, like, three months. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if you would care when it comes to throwing down that bill, you could throw down an extra three grand, and it could just be yours, and you don't even have to worry about the payments. Besides, obviously, your tax on it, but that's an extra three grand that you'd have to pay if you want to buy the vehicle. Well, I take that back. Because of the amount of hours on it, it deducts its value, so... You might actually just don't be able to spend an extra 500 bucks and buy it. Well, I tell you what, you figure out what it'll cost for me to just buy it. And honestly, at that price point, I'm I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> Whatever the price ends up being, I'll just buy it. Well, it'll be right around that 12 grand range if you're going to buy it. So if yeah. you want to throw that money down, you might as well just do it now. Yeah, whatever whatever that price uh, ends up being I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bite the bullet and, and buy it I might as well mm -hmm. alright well I'll let you know when we get all that stuff figured out it probably won't be till tomorrow though because I'm gonna head out here and get home so I can get all my stuff done okay if anybody else besides like if Tony tries to call you out here one of our guys and try to contact you about it, which I highly doubt he will because he's lazy and he only does stuff after hours, which I don't know why. Um, but he would be your only other thing besides me, so I thought it's probably going to be tomorrow when we get that all to you. All right, sounds good to me. All right, um, I'm going to let you get back to your haying. I'm going to head home so I can get my, my own mowing done. All right, I appreciate the call. Yep. Have it's a fun. good one. Is that rain I just saw? Is it sprinkling? Oh, no, no, no. We have got a lot to do. Please do not be sprinkling right now. It better not. It better That better not be sun showers. If that's sun showers, I'm going to be a very unhappy camper. Hello? Hey, uh, it, it looks like it's, it's starting to sprinkle here, isn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. I think we should be fine, though. I think we should be able to keep on going for I now. I sure hope so. Um, I don't have a place to really put this under shelter, um, but I, I was wanting to ask you, what was, what's your thought on going into business with me and maybe starting up a cattle company? Oh, that actually sounds like a really good idea. Yeah, I think it would be, uh, I think it would be a nice, profitable, and, and fun business venture, you know? Yeah, give, give me something a little extra do to the thing to do, because uh, Grant doesn't need me very often, so. Yeah, especially, you know, come winter time, we'll have uh, more to do then. And the main issue here, though, is that uh, I was trying to get three cuttings off of this this summer so I could have plenty of hay and turn some of it into silage and be prepped for food. Yeah. That's obviously not going to happen at this point. So we will have to, there's going to be a lot of upfront of ex expenses you know, getting things going. Yeah. Do you think there's any way we could get, like, an investor? I think so. I know the uh, the co-op does programs to uh, assist farmers and things like this, but 
but you know you have to pay those back of course and yeah yeah obviously um, over time we could probably get a loan from the bank and uh I'm, I'm sure we could find money somewhere but i think it would be a, yeah. a fun thing to do yeah uh do you, is your plan just to winter them and then ship them out in the spring or yeah yeah essentially just be a, a feed lot or maybe even be a, a, a breed lot i don't know for sure how we want to do this um, I think that would actually be really great, uh, but I do have this one, this one, uh, pa like, it's a fairly big pasture. Uh, you haven't been to my place yet, have you? Um, no, no, I haven't. No, okay, so I have this, like, fairly big pasture, and we could still probably get a bunch of bales off of it, and we could hurry up and cut it and bale it. Okay. And, or you can maybe turn it into silage, or, I know there's a farmer around here that sells silage bales. Is there? Yeah, so I guess we could always do that for silage and then just get a good amount of hay off of it. But also, uh, there is all that straw down by, uh, down by Grant's field. Oh, <gasps> I wonder if we could ask Stevio if we could, if we could oh, get that yeah, straw Stevio's from 15. Field. Actually, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. We should actually look at doing that. We should, we should. I might, I might try to see if I can get in contact with them here in the next couple of days. Because that would help us out a lot. Yeah, but that, I think we definitely have to get two balers at that point. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, no, there's definitely going to be, you know, building costs. We're going to need to get some more equipment, probably. Not not too much, but a little bit more. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, there's going to be some expenses. So I say we, we run the numbers. We figure out what it's going to cost. We try to see if we can get the loans, investors, whatnot. And we go from there. Uh, yeah, do we want to build this on a third-party location, or do we want to build this on an existing property of ours? I don't really have too much land. Like, I have a good amount of grassland, but I've already got a horse on there. I kind of okay. want to keep that for, like, horse grassland or, like, cattle grassland. Gotcha. Okay, so, so I, I was originally going to build it um, down there by the highway in that land that I own, right north of the farm here. Of the okay, house, yeah. but I want to keep that an arable crop if I can. So mm -hmm. yeah. I think I might look around and maybe get in contact with a realtor to see if there's any properties out and about that we could possibly look at. A nice, just little, you know, ten acres I think would do us great. Yeah. Uh, how many cattle do you think for running? Like I I don't know. I mean, we gotta. We can't go too heavy into the expenses at the very beginning. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Sure. So it's definitely a, a business that we want to grow. Um, mm -hmm. But I have no idea. We'll have to run the numbers and see, like, what we find to be the most return worthy. Yeah. Um, well, maybe this is just something we'll look into, and then we can just still do the hay regardless, because even if we don't have cattle, we can still sell it. Yeah, and I say we still look into doing that straw as well. I mean, if it comes down to it, we'll either have it for us or we'll just, you know, we'll sell it. Although yeah. we, we probably, we might have to, I don't know. I don't know if, what Stevios will think on that. He might be like, sure, if you pay me for it or something, but I'm sure if we think, say... I honestly think he just isn't going to cultivate it in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So um, I feel like if we just said, hey, you mind if we just go out there, we'll run our own equipment, we'll handle it all, and if we just bail that up, I'm pretty sure he'd be okay yeah. with that. I think he honestly would be. And I'm done here raking, by the way. Are you? So do you just want me to pull this back over? Yeah, yeah. And then if you want to start um, stacking, and you s do, do we have a place to uh, store this, or are we storing it outside? Yeah, at my farm. There's a bi I got a big shop. Wait, I'll have to move some equipment around, but I've also got a second quad set that I can move stuff to. So. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so we'll we'll truck it up there then. Sound good? Yep. All that right. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a plan. All right. Talk to you later. See ya. Oh, man. The rain is really, really picked up. It's starting to get real wet out here. These bales are, uh, this hay is starting to get wet in the baler. And that's not a good thing. These things, you, do, you don't want to bale when they're wet. And, uh, it, I'm pushing it. But I have just, like, one, two, I have two more windrows to go through. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You're not supposed to. This could rot out. This could honestly get hot sitting out, and it could it could catch fire because of this or something. But 
<laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run wet hay through the baler, because I'm so close to being done. I two, this like after this windrow, it's one more, so it's too close. I just have to. Hey. Yep. How's stacking going? Good. Hey, yeah, it's going pretty good. I just moved the truck up here. Oh, okay, gotcha. I um I have to run over to uh to Stevie O's place. There's a trailer I want to buy. And he said that oh, okay. he was over there, so I'm gonna run over there and, and buy that real quick. But I'll be right back to help you out. Um, if right, you yeah, want, I should I, have a full trailer load of bales by then. Okay, I do have two 40 foot PJs down there, so feel free to use one of those if you want a bigger trailer too. Yeah, I don't know. This one usually works pretty good. I I don't even know if we're gonna get a load off this dude. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a pretty low yield. Um, yeah, I would say we could go and and mow your stuff but it looks like it's just gonna keep on raining so we'll have to wait until yeah we might have to do that later in the week uh do we have time to, oh yeah we have i think we have time this season oh yeah we have time this season to do it yeah we should yeah. be able to get at least one cutting off of it so we'll be all right yeah that's for sure maybe even if you if you're lucky too if I we're don't lucky yep yeah. yeah but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna get over there real quick though and uh, i'll be right back all right you know how long this rain supposed to keep up for i think this might go in through tomorrow tomorrow's a 90 percent chance pretty much the whole day oh boy so i'm gonna guess yeah. that this is just gonna kind of kind of go on through until all the way through tomorrow so yeah and if that's the case then we're definitely gonna need like two days of hot weather to just dry yep. out the grass enough that we can bail yeah it yeah definitely it it's uh it, it'll be pushing it but we'll, we'll try yeah well i'll get back to uh stacking meals up here all right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, we're going to get the it's truck out of the garage here and run you know over and talk to Steve. Hey, Jake, what's up? Hey, not much. I guess I caught you right at the right time, huh? Yeah, I just got rained out. How about you? Same, same. <laughs> it's supposed to yep. rain all the way through tomorrow even, I think. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm trying to get my weed out, and it's way late. Oh, shoot. Uh, where, where are you selling it at? I'm selling it at the co-op right now, so yeah, I don't really have storage. Well, I do have storage. I just don't have a auger yet, so I'm looking for one. Gotcha. If you find one. Let me know. So looking for a deal. Yeah, I'll I'll keep a lookout. I'll I'll ask around. But uh, speaking of looking for something here, I I've been driving by a few days and I I saw you had a a sprayer trailer here for a semi. I kind of wanted to check that thing out. Oh, yeah. It's right over here. It's our Wilson uh, drop deck here. Okay. So it even has some of the last uh, company's uh, chemicals on it. You <laughs> can use some Roundup and some bags, uh, I think, fertilizer. Uh, so it has two 6,000-gallon tanks on it. Okay. One that goes over the back two axles. So the back two axles are slightly spread. So this is a 1996 Wilson drop deck trailer made into a fertilizer trailer. How much do you, how much do you want for this thing? It was just reserviced. So the brakes and everything are brand new. Uh, all the brake lines were replaced, so being since it's older, about 10 years, over 10 years, or 20 years old, sorry, uh, needed a couple of tune-ups, so I was thinking about 25, what do you think? 25, um, yeah, honestly, I'd say that's a fair price. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah, Let's I don't have any it. problem with that. It's the co-op's money, so. All right. All right. I appreciate it. Uh, is there paperwork we got to fill out here or anything? And, uh... Well, if you need it right now, you can take it, but we can uh, do the paperwork anytime. If you have time today, we can do it. Yeah, yeah, I can do that, and I'll give you the, uh, I'll give you the check here and everything as well so you can get that cashed. And I might not be able to get out here to pick it up today, if that's okay, uh, just because the co-op semi is actually still stuck in the field and since it's been raining for two days now it's not coming out anytime soon oh man that thing might be a week or so <laughs> so uh well if you really need it you can borrow one of my semis but otherwise you can grab it whenever you want it'll be right here waiting for you 
All right. Well, yeah. Let's get the paperwork done, and I'll get you. I'll get you a check. There you go. There's a check. There we go. Yeah, I'll be. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I, I pretty much had my mind made up like two, three days ago when I saw it that I wanted to buy it. So whatever price you threw out, I was I was pretty much just going to pay it. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> I don't want to give you a bad deal. Means you've helped me out. So I think that's a fair deal. I appreciate it. Oh, um, I actually had a question to ask. Yep. So that field that we helped you out with a uh, few days ago or whenever it was, um, would would it be all right if Austin and I came out and we bailed up that straw that we put down? Oh yeah, I don't know how uh, good it'll be with this rain on it, but you it'll, guys are welcome to it. It it it'll probably not be the best, but honestly, we're looking to to get into some cattle business, and we don't need it to be great. You know what I mean? Yep. Cattle Just aren't need too it for picky. Bedding. Yep. All right. Yep. No problem. Help help yourselves to it. So hopefully it's not too uh dirty with all this rain but i guess we'll see if there's right. even even any left after all of this <laughs> yeah the minerals are pretty big so it should be yeah. at least something there all right well i appreciate it i'll uh i'll come pick that thing up as as soon as i find the time all right all right all right good doing business with you all right have a good one all right well that's gonna do it for this one hopefully you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure you click that like button it really helps out the video but until next time i'll see you guys later <laughs>